Hi, I'm recording from an undisclosed location on the coast of the Sea of Cortez. The sun is just about to go down. There's the last little bit of the sun sunset. And I wanted to share with you the story that I didn't get a chance to tell. This is uh, a message to Dr. Schwartz in class. I wanted to tell the story that I didn't get a chance to share with you on Tuesday. So my adventure had been seriously derailed. As you recall, I was on this adventure driving from Tucson all the way to the southern tip of South America. In, at the border in Peru, I had parked my trusty truck, Baby Blue, in a garage and flown back to Tucson for the holidays, only to be confronted by the death of my brother-in-law, 36 years old, in the prime of life, he grabbed the counter, said, oh shit, and never regained consciousness. Now Kevin had been a, an actor and a very prolific writer, and he also worked at Old Tucson. He worked in, in the gunfights for the tourist shows. He was actually the star of the show, the tall and charismatic sh sheriff of Old Tucson. So now, I'm, I've struggled to get back on the road and I find my way back to Peru and I go to reunite with Baby Blue, my truck, only to find that it had been stolen. So I'm dealing with personal issues and a, a major issue with my, the nature of my adventure. Was I going to continue or was I going to call it off or was I going to continue by bus? It was, it was a, a very low point for me and I was struggling emotionally, big time. I come back to my hotel room one night during this period and someone had left me a little brown paperback book, very thin, and it was um, had some saguaros on the front of it. I thought it might have been some kind of religious material left by a friend of mine that I had met down there. I set it on my nightstand and went to bed. I was burned out and I needed rest. I, I slept soundly woke up in the morning, sat up at the head of my bed and began to meditate as I often do. But this time I'm, I was overwhelmed by this presence in the bathroom. There was this bathroom off in the corner with these deep green tiles. And all of a sudden I get this overwhelming feeling that my brother-in-law is there in the bathroom. Why here? And why in the bathroom? We start having this conversation, not out loud, it was sort of like, in my head, telepathic conversation. He's giving me sort of like a pep talk. He's telling me that I can have all of his gifts, and he had a lot of gifts, and I didn't have to take any of his problems. And I'm writing this all down in my journal book. And I'm thinking, you know, I finish, I set it down, and I'm thinking, you know, you're, you're stressed out, Mark. You just imagined that. That didn't really happen. And then I reach over and I pick up the book that I had received the night before. It's a brown paperback book, about 30 years old, and it's about the town I'm in, Tacna, Peru. And it says that Tucson and Tacna are sister cities, and there's a chapter about Tucson. And in the middle of the chapter about Tucson, there's a section about old Tucson, and there's a picture of the sheriff from old Tucson. I got goosebumps for almost 40 minutes. Now it wasn't the actual, it wasn't a picture of my brother-in-law, but if he had been working there at the time, it would have been him. So what are the odds in the middle of Peru, the sheriff of old Tucson? So you might be asking, well, what did you learn from this, Mark? Well, or what can, what can I learn from this? It didn't solve any of my immediate problems, although I did come out of the doldrums and my emotional uh, my emotional doldrums and I got eventually got back on the road pretty quickly and into my adventure. But in, in the longer range, it really changed my view of the world and the nature of life and death. So it had a very profound impact on me that seeped in over a long period. So I want to thank you for your time and attention. And I hope that you enjoyed the 49 questions video. And for those of you who got a copy, uh, if you have some feedback for me, either like uh, in the form of a testimonial or some sort of constructive feedback, 
there's an email on the back of the package. Please uh, send, send me a note and thank you very much.